Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 1. Thou also, son of man, take thee a tile and lay it before thee, and portray upon it the city, even Jerusalem. You're going to take a tile, a piece of clay. You've seen tile to floor, ceiling, wall. And upon this tile, he's to draw a picture of Jerusalem or write Jerusalem on it, and Jerusalem is this piece of tile. Lay siege against it, the tile, with the picture of Jerusalem. What Jer I mean, what Ezekiel's doing is he's doing what a little boy does with his army men. He's out there in the dirt. He's out there in the sand. He builds a little castle. He's got the little army men. You know, he got, the, he got little tanks and trucks and all kinds of play sets. Well, Ezekiel's got this tile with a picture of Jerusalem. And God says, lay, lay siege. Be an army. Attack it. And build a fort against it. A gun says, stop, put a fort. Get some sticks. And cast a mount against it. Get some dirt and build a mount. It's an army men set. Set the camp also against it. All right, get a camp of men. Get little tents. Maybe get camels and horses and asses. And set battering rams against it round about. All right, get, get these instruments that are made to pound against the walls of a city. He's in his house under house arrest. He is dumb as long as the Lord doesn't want him to speak. People are about him, and they're looking at him doing this. Ezekiel has become a live, a living um, word escaped my mind. Illustration. Moreover. Take thou unto thee an iron pan, you know what that is, and set it for a wall of iron. So around all this, around Jerusalem, put this wall of iron, a pan. God ain't going to give you no rain. And the iron curtain that you would call today is surrounded by, you ain't going to escape the city either. And you thought the Iron Curtain in Europe was a, you know, wow, look at that. This is the first Iron Curtain in Japan. There will be no escaping. Set thy face against it. I remember Ezekiel's got that hard face that God says, up against their faces, and it shall be besieged. Conquered, destroyed, and thou shalt lay siege against it. Attack it. Put the army men and all the all the things on. Put them in action. Boom, 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 bang, boom, boom, bang. A, this shall be assigned to the house of Israel. They're watching. In his house. Jeremiah was, was preaching at the temple. Ezekiel's in his house. Lie thou also upon thy left side. Another illustration. Lay thy iniquity of the house of Israel upon it. So turn over on your left side. I can't do that. Me all night long. I'm left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. 
Lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon thou it lie upon it, thou shalt bear the iniquity. So here's another illustration. Army men in city and iron pans and, and military and besiegement, battering rams. Now lay on your left side. For I have laid upon thee, God speaking to Ezekiel, the years of their iniquity, according to the number of days, 390 days, shall thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. So Ezekiel is going to lay on his side, his left side, and who knows, I mean, is that how he laid? And he's going to do it for 390 days. When thou has accomplished them, 390 days is up. Lay again on thy right side. That doesn't say anything about him getting up. For straight. Thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah 40 days. I have appointed thee each day for a year. 40 days. For the 40 years that Judah has been in sin, Ezekiel, you're going to lay in the ground for 40 days. The spies went into Canaan's Barnea for 40 days, and God says you're going to wander the wilderness for 40 years. Now, I don't know if it's 40 straight days. I don't know if it's 390 straight days. 40 days is 10 days over a month. Jewish calendar is 30 days in a year. Four hundred and thirty days. That's over ten months. Therefore thou shalt set thy face toward the siege of Jerusalem. The tile. And thy arms shall be uncovered. Bear your arms. And thou shalt prophesy against it. And behold, I will lay bands upon thee. Now, we already said in Psalm chapter 3, they're going to tie him up. God is going to tie Ezekiel down. So he can do the 390 days, and then he can do the 40 days. And thou shalt not turn thee from one side to another. Ezekiel will not be able to roll over. I don't know if this is just at night or all the time. I don't know what kind of sleeper Ezekiel was, but that, that would torture me. Because I sleep all over the place on a bed. Till thou hast ended the days of thy siege, the 390 days, then the 40 days, and then God's going to allow him to be untied and he can go back laying where he wants to lay. And this is only the beginning. Jeremiah had to wear yokes. Isaiah went barefoot and naked. Now we're not called to do that today in the church age. But I have seen some ridiculous things promoted by Christians. We're called to preach the gospel. We're not signs are for Jews. First Corinthians one twenty two, I believe it is. 
I have seen nonsense Christians. This guy's carrying a cross with roller rollerblades. Cross country. And on the cross he's got he's got wheels uh, to make it easy. You know, well Jesus said, you know, take up your cross. He didn't mean like that. And there are things that Christians do. And I would assume, oh, Ezekiel did it, Jeremiah did it, Isaiah did it. But we're not called to do it because we're not under signs and 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 tongues and all the work. So you take in what God has called the prophets to do, you take it out of context of what God has called Christians to do. You know, we're to live by faith. Okay, yeah. So what we're going to do for Jesus, I'm going to throw knives and axes at my wife. You want to give me book, chapter, and verse number on that? In the King James Bible. Well, you see, the fact is, you know, in Tennessee, we built the Ark of Noah. Book, chapter, and verse for Christians to build their Ark. Come on. I'll wait. It has to be on Calvary's side of the Bible. And they're all, you know, we're, you know, we mumble and jumble, and you, you can't have this, you can't have the assurance of salvation until you mumble and jabble in tongues and be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's not a Christian. When we see Ezekiel, Jeremiah, and Isaiah. And the uplifting of the arms of Moses. And Joshua holding his spear. They are signs to the nation of Israel. Not to the church. There is no church. 